we are asked to evaluate the integral. Looking at the integrand function, notice how we have a rational function where the degree of the numerator is higher than the degree of the denominator. And therefore, the first step is to perform long division. To begin, we need to determine what times 4x squared is equal to 12x cubed, which is 3x. Or if we need to, we can divide 12x cubed by 4x squared, which will give us 3x, which is the first term in the quotient. We place a 3x over the x term here. Now we multiply 3x in the divisor. 3x times 4x squared is 12x cubed. 3x times 25 is 75x. Let's write plus 75x here under the x term. And now we subtract. Instead of subtracting though, it'll be easier to add the opposite. So we can change this to addition as long as we change the sign here and here. And now adding, this sum is zero, and we have 4x squared, and then 73x plus negative 75x is negative 2x, giving us minus 2x. And we still have the plus 21. And now we need to determine what times 4x squared is equal to 4x squared, which of course is one, and therefore the next term in the quotient is one, so we have plus one. Now I multiply one in the divisor, well one times 4x squared plus 25, of course, there's 4x squared plus 25. And now we subtract by adding the opposites. So it changes to addition, changes to negative, and changes to negative. And now adding this sum is zero. We have negative 2x. And then 21 plus negative 25 is negative 4, giving us minus 4. This is the remainder because this is degree 1, and we have a degree 2 divisor which means we can write the original integral as the integral of 3x plus one, and then plus the remainder of the quantity negative two x minus four all over the divisor of four x squared plus 25. And because the denominator here does not factor and we have a degree one numerator, we do not perform partial fraction decomposition. The next step will be to write this as four separate integrals. This is equal to the integral of three x dx plus the integral of one dx. And now let's make this rational expression up into the difference of two rational expressions, where because the first term in the numerator is negative two x and we have plus here, let's write minus and then factor out the two and then we have the integral of x divided by the quantity 4x squared plus 25 dx. And now because the second term in the numerator is negative four, let's write that as minus, let's factor out the four, and then we have the integral of one divided by the quantity 4x squared plus 25 dx. Now looking at the integrals, we can integrate the first two integrals using basic integration formulas to integrate here, we'll perform u substitution, and this integral here fits the integration formula shown here below. So let's begin integrating. The integral of three x with respect to x is three times x squared divided by two, plus the integral of one with respect to x is x minus two. Let's show the u substitution here. Using this integration formula here, u is equal to four x squared plus 25, differential u is equal to 8x dx. We have x dx, so let's divide both sides by eight, giving us 1 8 du equals x dx. So performing the u substitution, this dx is equal to 1 8 du. Let's factor out the 1 8, and then we have du, and our numerator is now one, and our denominator of 4x squared plus 25 is u. Now for this last integral, we have minus four times the integral. This integrand function does fit the form of one divided by the quantity a squared plus u squared, where a squared is the constant 25 and u squared is four x squared. So again, if we needed to, we could rewrite this denominator as the quantity five squared plus the square of two x, where again, a is equal to five 
u is equal to 2x, and therefore differential u is equal to 2dx. Dividing both sides by 2, we have 1 half to u equals dx. So performing the substitutions, again, dx gives us 1 half to u, so we factor out the 1 half, and then we have du, and the numerator stays 1, and again, 4x squared plus 25 is the same as the square of 5 plus the square of 2x, which does give us a squared plus u squared. And now we can finish integrating. So we have 3 halves x squared plus x. Here, 2 times 1 eighth simplifies to 1 fourth, giving us minus 1 fourth. The integral of 1 over u du is equal to a natural log absolute value of u plus c giving us natural log absolute value of the quantity 4x squared plus 25. And then we have minus 4 times 1 half is 2, but then when integrating we have 1 over a, which is 1 over 5 or 1 fifth. 2 times 1 fifth is 2 fifths. And then we have arctangent of u divided by a is 2x divided by 5, or 2 fifths x. And then finally we have the plus c. I hope you found this helpful.